When it comes to buying a speedy budget graphics card for reasonable money, it's felt like pretty slim pickings over the past few years. However, both AMD and Nvidia have recently released some fresh contenders into the market, in the form of the AMD RX 9060 XT and the Nvidia RTX 5060 Ti, two budget GPUs that promise excellent 1080p and 1440p performance for relatively reasonable prices. For a mere 299 bucks for the 8GB version, AMD's new entry-level card is a tantalising prospect for gamers looking for the best bang for their buck. However, we've been testing the $349 16GB model, and that pricing edges it closer to the $429 NVIDIA RTX 5060 Ti. The NVIDIA GPU is a pretty impressive performer for the cash, so the little AMD has its work cut out for it, that's for sure. So, which of these mini yet mighty graphics cards should you be buying with your hard-earned cash? My name's Andy, and I'm going to break down the technical specs, run you through the benchmarks, tell you how each of these cards perform in some of the most demanding games currently available, and give you my advice as to which to pick for a budget gaming rig in 2025. When it comes to the spec sheet, both cards make use of the latest architectures from each of their respective manufacturers. In the case of the RX 9060 XT, it's an RDNA 4 based card, whereas the RTX 5060 Ti is based on RTX Blackwell. The Nvidia card is slightly smaller when it comes to die size, but the AMD card has a higher transistor count, 29.7 billion to the RTX 5060 Ti's 21.9 billion. However, it's important to remember that the two architectures are very different, so simply looking at the numbers side by side won't necessarily tell you much about the difference in performance. For example, when it comes to shader cores, the RTX 5060 Ti has 4,608 of the little beasties, whereas the RX 9060 XT has 2,048, technically less than half. But remember, not all shader cores are built equally, as we saw when we compared the RX 9070 XT to the equivalent RTX 5070 Ti. For the purpose of keeping things simple, AMD cards of this generation do more with technically less, so they're fairly evenly matched on paper. The RX 9060 XT is also clocked significantly higher than its Nvidia competition, with a 3.13GHz maximum boost clock speed compared to the RTX 5060 Ti's 2.51GHz figure. When it comes to memory, however, we start to see the AMD card drop behind. While both the RX 9060 XT 16GB and the RTX 5060 Ti have, you guessed it, 16GB of VRAM, the AMD card makes do with slower GDDR6 memory chips, with a top speed of 20 gigabits per second. However, the RTX 5060 Ti uses faster GDDR7 chips, resulting in a 28 gigabits per second top speed. Even in the odds a little is that both the cars make use of a 128-bit bus. And finally, we need to talk about power draw. Both cards put relatively little strain on your PC's power supply, with the AMD card topping out at a 160W TGP in comparison to the RTX 5060 Ti's slightly more power sapping 180W draw. Both are fairly easy going when it comes to power requirements, so either makes a good shout for those of you with smaller capacity PSUs. Ah, graphics card pricing. Here's where things get a little sticky. On paper, the 16GB variant of the RX 9060 XT is significantly cheaper than the RTX 5060 Ti, with a $349 MSRP to the Nvidia card's $429 pricing. That makes the AMD GPU a full $80 cheaper, on paper at the very least. However, almost all graphics cards are experiencing significant markups at the moment. I could go into the exact reasons why, but let's face it, we'd be here for weeks. And I'd end up having to draw lots of confusing graphs and explain the nuances of the current supply and demand situation in relation to the tariffs, which, let's face it, makes for a pretty boring video. For the purposes of this comparison, though, I'm going to take that pricing at face value for the most part. But it's worth being aware that both cards are currently retailing for significantly more than the MSRP suggest. The AMD RX 9060 XT is also a mere week into release at the time of recording, so hopefully the pricing on both cards will even back out to something more sensible in the weeks and months to come. Hopefully. Turns out I'm an optimist at heart, no one's more surprised about that than me. It's in the benchmarks where things get really interesting. While AMD initially claimed that the RX 9060 XT was around 6% faster on average at 1440p than the RTX 5060 Ti, that hasn't quite proved out in our testing. However, it's remarkable just how close the little AMD card gets to its Nvidia competition, given the price difference between the two. 
At 1080p, we found the RX 9060 XT to be a mere two frames behind our RTX 5060 Ti sample in Blackmyth Wukong, resulting in an average of 73 frames per second to the Ti 75. It's similarly close in Cyberpunk 2077 with Ultra RT enabled, where the AMD card lags just behind its Nvidia quarry by just two frames on average. At 1440p, it's much the same story. Close, but not quite the full cigar for the RX 9060 XT versus the RTX 5060 Ti. Still, there is the odd win for the AMD card over the Nvidia, namely in F124 and Total War Warhammer 3. And at 4K, unsurprisingly, both cards have a tendency to struggle. Still, they struggle fairly evenly, although it's worth mentioning that the RTX 5060 Ti still edges ahead of the AMD card in most of our benches. Either way though, I wouldn't call either card a good option for 4K gaming. Keep them at 1080p and 1440p resolutions, however, and both perform with aplomb. In our real-world gaming benchmarks, taken at 1440p with quality upscaling and frame generation enabled where applicable, it becomes apparent just what a value proposition the AMD card becomes at its $349 MSRP. While the RX 9060 XT drops significantly behind the RTX 5060 Ti and Black Myth Wukong, it ranges ahead by a full 6 frames on average in Cyberpunk 2077, a full 20 frames in the Talos Principle 2, and a massive 54 frames in F124. Now, before you go jumping up and down thinking the significantly cheaper RX 9060 XT has its competition firmly on the ropes, I would point out that we've seen astonishingly high frame rates in this particular game from every RDNA 4 card we've tested to date. Whatever those updated compute units are providing, F124 seems to love it, but I wouldn't go taking this particular figure as indicative of the performance difference overall. Still, while the RX 9060 XT lags behind the RTX 5060 Ti on average across our benchmarking suite, it's really not by much, to the point where I'd say that during actual gameplay, both cars will give comparative performance overall. And, given that the AMD card is technically $80 cheaper, it's quite an impressive result from the little RX 9060 XT, providing you can actually find one for the right price. Finally, we come to overclocking. Nvidia's RTX 50 series cards have been reliable overclockers this generation, and the RTX 5060 Ti is no different. With a simple slider tweak in MSI Afterburner adding 400MHz to the core speeds, we were able to squeeze a few more frames out of our review sample with relatively little effort. The RX 9060 XT, however, isn't particularly happy when pushed beyond its factory specs. I was able to keep it relatively stable with a 300MHz overclock on both the core and the memory, but push it beyond those limits and it quickly starts to complain. We've had a fair bit of success undervolting the RX 9060 XT's bigger brothers, the RX 9070 and the RX 9070 XT, but the budget member of the lineup didn't want to play ball in my testing. It seems like the baby RX 9060 XT has been pushed pretty close to its limits by AMD from the factory, as even with a stable minor overclock, the frame rate gains are relatively minimal. When it comes to deciding between these two graphics cards, it really does come down to price. While the RTX 5060 Ti manages to nose ahead of the RX 9060 XT in our benchmarks, it's by such a small amount on average that I say you should plump for the AMD card if you can find it for cheaper than the Nvidia competition. An $80 or similar saving for nearly the same performance means you can spend that extra cash on a couple of new games, a RAM upgrade, or even just a good night out. Any sort of significant saving you can get at the budget end of the market makes a big difference, so cash is king here. That being said, if you even up the price difference, it becomes a very different recommendation. Should you be able to find both for roughly the same money, I'd probably opt for the RTX 5060 Ti instead. It manages to eke out a few frames extra over its competition on average, and it's a much better overclocker for the cash. Judging which GPU to buy right now is an exercise in ifs, buts, and maybes, and that makes things difficult for you, the person trying to buy a good graphics card for a reasonable price. However, both cards are great 1080p and 1440p performers, meaning that it really comes down to the price difference when picking between the two. If you're struggling to find a good deal on either card, I'd highly recommend you check out our cheap graphics card deals page, linked in the description below. Both myself and the PC Gamer hardware team spend hours each week keeping our deal pages regularly updated with the very best discounts, so if you're looking for the best prices around, you'll find them there. Oh, and we have a website full of things to read about the very latest in PC gaming tech, along with many videos on our YouTube channel to enjoy. So, like and subscribe with the buttons below, and I'll see you soon for yet another episode of Long Haired Man Talks Incessantly About Gaming Hardware on the Internet. See you then.